well it's late autumn and it's been a bit of good bit of rain a day ago so just out here in the woods looking for velvet chinks and shaggy parasols so I just found some little bud brand new velvet chinks so in a few more days if it's nice and wet that'll be a nice big cluster of beautiful velvet chinks So here's a nice big old Ganoderma artist conch. So those grow on dead wood, bracket fungi. So they're hard like wood, white pore surface underneath. Well, that was a bit brown. And you can slice those up and put them in your tea, and they're meant to have some good health properties. So not a food so much as a a medicinal thing to add to your tea. There's usually a few velvet shanks along here on this dead log. Hello little fantail. Don't see any. Oh there's a little one. One little tiny one. Two. So they need a few more days, a bit more rain. Oops. Bit of a tangle under here. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's some good ones. Ah, that's a that's a lovely cluster of good eating sized ones. And you can see some little baby ones growing. There's another little cluster of young ones. So I'll have these ones to eat. We have a little bunch of velvet shanks. They're fairly dry, so could do with a bit more rain. But uh, beautiful in an omelette. Reputedly, reportedly have uh, anti-cancer properties. I've got one fairly scruffy shaggy parasol so far. So that's them when they're opened up. Earlier than that they're like a lollipop shape. So because the gills are still nice and pale coloured, that's probably still good to eat. I'll check it when I get home and if it's a bit buggy I'll, I'll biff it. Beautiful meaty mushrooms. Spot over here, some bunches of beautiful velvet chinks. On a dull day, they, that flaming orange colour sticks out a mile. Harder to spot on a sunny day. So those are beautiful. That would be excellent eating. There's some little little baby ones as well. Give them a few days and they'll be good to eat.
beautiful cluster of velvet checks. Right, these would have been a couple of good shaggy parasols, but the, looks like the birds have got at them. See the gills were still quite white. That one's actually just about edible. So I think the pheasants and quail eat these. This one's been attacked as well. I can hear a quail hooping. So if I was desperate I would eat that one, it is a bit buggy, leave it for the birds. So this is today's foraging. So I got a, good, a couple of good bunches of velvet shanks and one scruffy shaggy parasol and a few little porcini. Little beauties. And a few of these little I just call them orange bullets. I'm not quite sure what they are. They're they never seem to grow very big. They could be young red cracked bullets. Definitely a bullet. Always sort of rusty orange color all over. Cap, pore, stem. So uh, delicious to eat. I don't know what they are, but I have uh, done my due diligence eating them. And um, most of the bullets, all that I know of, are, are quite edible. So that's, that's a feast. Four different types of fungi.